So, I don't, okay. If you're seeing this video, I'm exhausted. If I look exhausted, it's because I'm exhausted. It's freaking 9.52 and it's too late for me. That's why I'm jumping on the mic because I'm just fascinated by ideas. Sometimes I just think, sit and think and I had this great idea. I had to share. I'm very expressive. Here we go. Social media. I've been doing it since 2011. I started my YouTube. Then Instagram, I was on top of that. Now it's my job. Now it's what I do. Now it's something I am endlessly fascinated by the way it mimics us as humans. I watched Social Dilemma. I highly recommend it, everybody to watch it. And here's my idea. I'm trying to build a business. I'm trying to do what I need to do for my life to make what I love more of what I do only, which is the dream. I'm trying to live a dream. It's amazing. And so when I do this, part of what it is is trying to balance creating my art, getting better as who I am, and expressing my authenticity while trying to monetize that. So it's two different animals. And... um, One of the things I do, by the way, you better work your ass off. I don't know why that popped into my head. Point of that is, is don't bitch about, I just want to do this. Work your ass off over here so you can do the things you love. I'm smacking everything. But you get the point? Because I could, and why do I know that? Because I want to say that. All I want to do is make art. Shush. Nobody cares. Okay. Point is. I try to learn the marketing side of the platforms so I could use them to my favor, you know? You got to push yourself up. I love entertaining. You guys don't want to hit the gosh darn like buttons. Was that an ad in itself, like a subliminal thing? Yes, that's how skilled I am. (laughs) But the point is, I keep saying that, is you got to get good at that so you can get your message out. You don't just have a good enough message. You also have to be just as good at saying that message what is that famous quote maybe i can look it up as my own producer um uh ah that's a great story quote okay i'm not gonna do it now okay i'll find it and i'll put it in the wherever you'll see it across the screen i'm good at it so i'm getting to my point i'm getting to my point anyway the quote is something about the the, is it the greatest story ever told or is it the greatest storyteller i think that's it i'm close um point is as i'm learning about that it's they're keeping your attention on the device they want you to stay on their platform as long as possible and they're getting good at it are you hearing me they're getting good at it not just good they're they're changing the world with it literally like our behavior if you watch social dilemma you get it here's the thing because they're getting so good it used to be marketing it used to be instagrams for marketing and maybe that your youtube is your focus and i'm giving you secrets by the way but you want to get them off the platform, but now their whole goal is keep them on the platform. So we're fighting these giants to get people. We're literally fighting the giants, the four. I'm reading the book, the four, because I read books. OK, I, uh, <laughs> I saw the Crystal Lee and I miss him. I don't know what's going on. Don't ask me about that. I don't know. What's, I don't know what he did. I don't even, What the fuck. I just miss the comedy. OK, just the, the positivity, positive side of things, whatever. Um, what was I saying? What was I saying? Get it back. I'm reading the big four. I read books. Um, Facebook, Apple, Google, and Amazon, right? They're getting so good and they're so powerful and the social dilemma. We're fighting the biggest four companies, those type of people that are controlling the platform. They don't even control the platforms. What am I saying, dude? I almost got it. These people, they are. They are keeping us on the platforms. What am I, they, I'm right. Facebook, whatever. That were as an individual, as me, as a little guy in my studio, studio apartment, a little guy. What am I talking about? We're trying to pull people off the platform against them trying to keep people on the platform. That's my one thought that it took me nine years to get out. But that's what I just had the realization tonight. And maybe I'm not the only one. Maybe I'm not the first. But I haven't heard people talk about that. I'm deep in my own content. I know I may not be in the media and YouTube. And the point is, the cool part, the fun part, here's the positive spin on it. Uh, You can make content as an artist, which I like to see myself as. That's what I love to do. I love creating videos. I love music and I love making funny videos and just those vibrations. My podcast used to be called Vibrations. I don't know what it's called now because I keep changing the name. And uh, 
I was trying to make content that's good and balancing that with trying to market my other platform. Say I wanted people to go to my YouTube, right? I don't want to bombard them with ads about swipe up and all this. I want to just provide good content now. But now because they feel like they're getting so isolated and we're fighting this people to get the people off the platform, it's almost impossible. That we just got to make content as content creators. I'm shouting to you guys, the YouTubers. I love the YouTube community so much. It's been it's just been the best. The people I meet on YouTube are the best people I ever meet. That's what I'm saying. The ones that are the creative ones, they get it. It's just amazing. There's no there's just no bullshit. If you're good, you're good. I think that's why I like YouTube. Um, We make content for each platform. So instead of trying to make a YouTube video and then trying to take pieces of that and put it on my story, advertise it, the best part of this on the snippet, all these, I think we just forget that. But I never want to add to my life. I'm trying to, I'm trying to cut away, subtract because the less you do, the better in your life. You get better at less things so you can be even better at them. If you, I don't even know what I'm talking about, but that's the goal. Cut away. I'm not trying to add things to my life. So it sounds like trying to make content for every specific platform is more things to do instead of trying to bundle them. But now it's becoming more work, I believe, because you're trying to repurpose it and then try to, you're trying to repurpose it and then trying to make it entertaining as well, right? But that is two jobs. If you just repurpose it, you gotta just throw it up now. Now it's too much work. So instead of spending that energy, just make a separate video that's specifically for Instagram. For me, for an example, sometimes I make little clone videos, little clones, but they're short. I can't make an I can't make a 10 minute clone. <laughs> Actually, I could. I can't, it's hard to make a 10 minute clone video, but maybe I'll do that for a YouTube project. This is how my brain works. And then I'll put it on YouTube. But so I make those really quick, put them on Instagram. Perfect. That's what I should do. I shouldn't try to incorporate that in the YouTube because that's I should try to separate them because then that's less, at least in my head. It seems like less work. TikTok, do some dancing. That's where I get my dancing creativity out. I don't know if you're like me as a creative, but I like all these platforms and I like the trends and I like the doing all these things and I like jumping on board and I like producing high quality audio video. So I like to maximize that. I like to maximize each thing. So to me, it feels like less because instead of trying to make one thing that fits all these platforms, I just make something for each platform. And I, maybe I don't. I focus on a couple platforms, but I'm not trying to mingle them all because they're all trying to isolate so they're falling away and we're trying to hold them all together i feel ready for this visual i'm standing on like an iceberg that broke away and i got little ropes and they're like all these pulling away and i'm trying to pull them back into me instead i can just like hop to each one i guess i don't even know where that was going (laughs) so if you're listening to this on a podcast that's because it's for a good podcast. If you're watching this on YouTube, that's because I think it's best for YouTube. And I got the lights out. I got the camera out. I got the good quality. Now, so what's next, you're asking? Um, I don't know. But the answer's always been just get better. Just just crush it. I just, I literally it was on the beach this morning filming this dope intro. Maybe I'll put it in this video. Maybe I won't. But you'll see it in a future YouTube video. It's me doing the foam roller. And I just couldn't believe the good quality. And one time recently, this past week, somebody mentioned that I have such talent with the camera. And when I picked up a camera, I had zero. When I was saying that to other people, I'm like, they have an eye, right? They have an eye for photography. They have an eye for this. And I I used to tell myself, I wish I had that. How do they ever get that? It felt like a gift. Then you work. That's it. So I've I've been doing it. And the thing is, you got to love it. Meaning, don't work and then fall in love with it. No, if you love it, then you'll keep getting better at it. Photography, videography, creating was always something I did and I knew I wanted to make it what I do and now it's what I do and so now I can get even better at it and it's incredible that I get to show that or actually see it because I knew I could get better at it. I knew about the sun. I knew I had, to, I, had, I had to wake up early this morning for the beach. I knew the angles. All these little things I've been learning, you get to put them to practice. But the thing is, in the background, when I'm practicing, I'm doing these things. There's so many things, so many times where I'm just doing it for fun. And that's just because I love it. It's fun to get good at something you like. So a lot of people see these content. I think what I'm getting at is people see these platforms as a way to be free. But it's only free if you love doing it. That's amazing, Steve. Like, I love doing this. I love talking. I love these ideas and sharing them. But I also love the cinematography, so I'm getting better at it. But so many people want to do that because, first of all, it's sick. 
but they but then they want to do it for the pl- and I'm not discouraging anybody. I'm just I my platform's about helping you maximize yourself. So for me, rapping's one of them. So I get better at that. I wouldn't continue writing if I didn't enjoy it. I guess there's a not in the, everything that's expressive I really enjoy, but the point is you got to you got to do so much of it. <laughs> what am I saying? <laughs> I forgot where I was even going with that, but you got to Pick your freedom. Dang, maybe that's the name of the episode? No, that got to be social media wise or something. But if you pick your freedom, because then you're going the right way. So if I liked something else, like the marketing side, maybe not the creative side, like the actual, then I would just keep doing that. I would I would be on the other end. I might work for one of those companies. Wait, would I work for one of those companies? I don't know. That's interesting. That's so weird. If I was on the other side trying to keep people on the platform, it's kind of what I'm doing, trying to keep them on me. Am I trying to make my own company? (laughs) What am I saying? I can't believe this has only been 10 minutes. It feels like I've been talking for 17 years and I could talk forever. It feels like, and I also want to rap and I don't know where to put that. So I was thinking that's how this whole thing started. Cause I was like, I want to put my raps out somewhere. Cause I want to make another one. I'm like, I wish people saw it more. And it's just like, where, where's the best place for it? And then I started to realize different platforms are better for different things, which we know, but now they're being isolated so much. All right. That's the sum of it. I hope that idea helps. That was really fun. By the way, the last thing I wanted to say is I'm so exhausted. I meant to start with this is that sometimes at night my mind races and this might be my key to when I tap in because I notice when I go into the subconscious levels, I'm really fascinated by the brain. You get connected. Some people say to the universe. Some people say to um, just your own subconscious. But anyway, either way, these thoughts always been flooding for the past couple of weeks. So I'm learning that. And then tonight I'm just like, I just need to think, dude. It felt like my mind was racing. I was working so much. I just needed to think. So I literally sat on my balcony and just thought, and by the way, turned my phone into a tool at 9 p.m. because I use screen time downtime, which means it doesn't show notifications. So I don't even have to worry about seeing a notification. Not only does it not buzz, but it doesn't bother me. So I can write down notes. Really, really helpful for me, just more into my brain. And I love that about our brains is we can hack them. We can use these things to our, they're so powerful. The notes tool is so powerful for me. I can make checklists. I can keep it. I can pin some. I could do this. I could edit them. I could add pictures. There's so many things I can do. It's helping my life immensely. I can write down my dreams about a, <laughs> what did I dream about the other day? A friend had braces and we were back in school. And I was like, oh, it's fine. It's, an, it's like, str- I was using like my <laughs> philosophy now. It's like, it's a struggle you're going to overcome and you're going to be stronger for it for braces. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's what I was thinking, but yes, so I'm so tired and it's, it's, that's now these ideas come. So I think for me, just to give some examples of what all this is about is if I can get better at finding when I feel expressive and being able to jump on the camera, jump on the mic, this is tough cause I don't, I'm exhausted and I want to sleep, but it feels good to get it out. So it's this learning process of being creative, finding the time that works, finding the platforms that work so you can make your best content. This is a song. I'm going to try to end it on here on a bank so you can make your best content and live your best life by utilizing the platforms to your advantage, not just trying to market, but also balancing the business side so you can fund your endeavors. And I'm Steven (laughs) and have a good night and a nice day and enjoy every moment of it. Cause what the fuck? (laughs) Oh, best video of all time.